This is the last of the really cumbersome trees around this area of the cabin. This is where the new garden is going to be. And it's been quite a process. We've been working on it for over a week, preparing the area, getting all the tools ready, the chains, clearing the grounds around the base of the tree, getting the come along ready to hook up to the tree so that we can tighten the tension and basically nudge the tree in a direction that we want. And today is the day to get it done. So now Brant is just sharpening the blade and making sure the chainsaw is ready to go. He's got his hard hat on, except we forgot to have him wear his chaps. There's always something that you forget. We've got to make a good checklist. Anyway, so here I stand recording and watching. Now he's working on the wedge. The wedge is the part where he cuts out of the trunk right there. That's the direction we want it to go. He wasn't happy with the size of the wedge. He said the angle was really challenging. And after several minutes of working with the chainsaw, he decided to take a splitting wedge and hammer and just hack at that for a while to see if the wedge would just give the tree that extra little push, a little nudge. Sometimes that can work. But as you can see, he was, he was making several different cuts and sticking the wedge in those little cuts and hoping that would push it over. But then he, he just took the chainsaw after that and made little swipes until it finally started to come down. Every time Brant cuts down a tree, I'm so nervous. I feel obligated to yell, back off or get out of the way, even though he can't even hear me. There it goes. Well, almost. I just can't help myself. It's it's so nerve-wracking. There it goes. Watch out. Yep, back off. You okay? Yeah, good job. Woohoo! Tree fell down. Tree fell down. Daddy cut down a tree. What do you think about that? It did a fell down. Yep, the tree fell down. Good job. Oh, the last scary one for a while. Yeah, you feel better? Yeah. Uh, uh, get, a, get up a tree. Yeah. You want to get up there? Let's we'll stand on it. Good job. Everybody okay? Yep. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. I would have yeah. loved it to go that way. It fell where I thought I was gonna fall. Yeah. So. Didn't kill any of my plants. Yeah. That's a big box. tree, huh, Justice? Woo. Your daddy's like Paul Bunyan. Yeah, my main one is still pretty tight. That was a redundant one. Or maybe it slipped, I don't know. But they were both black as it was falling, which is nice. Oh, that's good. Well, success. Yeah, thank you. Good so job. Your um, suggestion that I thought about very hard on to make sure that I wasn't just following you blindly, that's what did it. I just would swipe. Swipe. 
It would creak a little, I'd stop, I'd look at it, swipe again, and it was just taking that tension off each time until the weight did the rest. Could you see it starting, to, the gap getting larger? Yes. And I knew, I knew the last one that I did was going to be the last one. That's quite a I heard it go and I had time to run. Did you watch it or did you hide? <laughs> Uh, Think of the strength to, to yeah, pull that thing apart. Feet. It's amazing how much this thing weighs. Tons, several tons. I don't know how many. Is this little crack where it could have barber chaired? Well, no, I guess not. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Then it comes into here. And that's what the chain does to prevent it from snapping. Yeah, the chain is slack now, but... This is where I cut it many, many times. <laughs> well, you got it done. It's scary. It's really a good job. Think about all of the, up until a couple minutes ago, all the tension that was in. Yeah. All these little fibers holding that tree up. And just where each one found its like breaking point and just steps up as like. I encourage you to calculate how much this trunk weighs. You figure out this diameter uh -huh. and get a diameter up there at some distance. And a red alder, and they'll tell you. It's green, so it's full of water. Yeah, the tree fell down. Daddy cut it down. That's right. Daddy made it go down. See, that tree fell down. It broke. It broke. That tree broke. Pulling apart. That's amazing. Yeah. One by one by one, those things let go, and then all of a sudden there's a crescendo. Did you get the hard hat in the video? I don't know. Makes me feel better. Cutting down a tree like this is always bittersweet. It is very dangerous, but it gives Brant a huge sense of accomplishment, and it makes me very happy because now I have more sunlight for the garden area, and I know that we are taking care of this forest by managing the scrub trees and basically tending to it like a garden. And now you can see the before, that's when the tree was standing, and then you'll see the after. Now we just need to get all those little alders out. You, I say we. <laughs> well, we're a team.